everybody welcome back to jenny's random as you guys can see we are ready okay you guys saw my unboxing in the previous video and now here we are a newish temporary background i felt like you know i jazzed it all up over here anyway if you're new here please consider subscribing it's free and if you're oldie but goodie hey gang welcome to a planner flip through so if you guys watched my previous unboxing then you saw a lot of the pretty things i have inside here and then some things are familiar such as this um planner cover my paper clips and whatnot we'll 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 dig in once um <laughs> we get going anyway but take a look at this pencil case okay and i'm so disappointed that the the seller I got the case from and this pretty things inside card is not available but I went ahead and linked those items below the previous video so if you haven't checked it out please do uh the things I have here are available in that video the links uh anyway but I just look at this this is exactly what I was going for um i just wanted a pretty little case for the just the basics just the essential items i would need like the um the extra pens fine point sharpie some post-it notes I, I like to write on different sizes based on my moods or <laughs> whatever look i'm going for um i have some black hair i used to have a white ink pen um but I don't know it dried out because i wasn't using it i bought it simply to have and that was it <laughs> so i'm trying to be more intentional with my purchases so you know a lot of things you will see are things that you've seen in previous videos so i have several um different shapes well a few i have the circle one the black one and then there's a hexagon one and those i got from cloth and paper and then I have some uh, other post-it notes here, just a few pieces, and some page flags, and then the some writing utensils. And that's that on this. Isn't this pretty? I just wanted to have something small, ready to go, toss into my work bag, and that's it. Not that I have an office job or anything, but on my lunch break, I like to sit down and, you know, go through to make sure all the things I need to have planned are... <laughs> written down and it's nice to have this you know you have your little lunch break out something pretty it's just it makes you want to plan it makes you want to write and wants you to it makes you want to be productive now doesn't it to me <laughs> at least but anyway let's get into the flip through i i should mention though with the happy plan i'm still going to be using that for my faith planning this one here is just for my day to day so Without further ado, let's get into the flip through because in typical Jenny's random fashion, I have randomly rambled for the first five or six minutes. <laughs> I may cut some of that out. <laughs> so here we are. Oh my God. <laughs> Let me take a thumbnail. I love this. Opening this makes me happy. Oh my lord. <laughs> Look how stunning. I mean, can we can we talk about uh Mr. Louis Vuitton and Mr. Tom Ford making an appearance? And I made this baby myself. I went to um the Tom Ford counter at Macy's to smell some of the perfume. I have the uh bitter peach. Um I don't know what this crazy string i'm gonna have to cut that off um yeah so i went to smell the other ones the uh soleil blanc uh cherry or lost cherry whatever you know the other different perfumes that are crazy expensive my husband bought me the bitter peach for my birthday and i love it so i went to smell the other ones and so they gave out this ribbon when you smell the perfume they spray it on that and i was like hmm, that'll make a cute paper clip <laughs> So if you need some of these, go down to Macy's and smell the perfume, okay? You could get some paper clip de decor for free. <laughs> so this pocket, um, the only thing I will say I don't care for about this size plan or this style, I think it's um, in the Croco style that the front side only has one pocket and then the rear, has, the rear side has... Uh, several pockets. I prefer to have more pockets on the front than the back, but 
I mean, I guess it's both equally as useful. So we're gonna try to make the rest of this planner flip through quick. So in the front side, I have these journaling cards and this one says, the best way to predict your future is to create it. And I use some uh, adhesive just to stick it in that place because as you can see, it's not all the way in the pocket. It's just hanging out at on the top. So I just put some adhesive that I got from Michael's on the back of it just to stick the card there. And then this journaling card, it just says, see the beauty in everything and begin with your with yourself. And this was a four pack of journaling cards from cloth and paper. And I just thought it looked so nice right here. And just this laying run effect there. I didn't know exactly what I would do with it when I first got it. But when I, you know, I saw the vision and I put it there and I love it. So on this side, I have the card that I got from the unboxing, the Etsy unboxing um and then i made this dashboard out of uh pink vellum and i just printed my name on there in microsoft word and i you know i cut it out in the appropriate size and that's that and then here i just have a picture of the family myself my husband my kids this is from 2015 this is uh our first christmas picture together i don't know why that is but <laughs> it is what it is and that's when miss jackie was a tiny little thing and then right behind that is just this croco uh dashboard from notique so the first section let's see okay here we go the first section is the inbox and i ordered a printable dashboard pack from a seller on etsy I'll try to link it below if I remember. I should remember, I typically do. Um, and I printed it on some shiny vellum. I don't know if that's giving on camera. But it's just some white frosted vellum, uh, or chrome, not chrome, but like it has a shiny sheen to it. Anyway, I printed it out on that, cut it in the appropriate size. And then on this side, I have some, um, post-it notes that I got from cloth and paper. This one is the inbox um, post-it, the memo. Let's see, is the memo? Yes, the memo is from cloth and paper and then some <clears throat> dot grid post-its. And I'll, if anyone knows me, y'all know I'm a dot grid fanatic. <laughs> and then I have, um, let's talk about the dividers for a second. So I, these are the dividers I got from cloth and paper, the cloth and paper haul I did. And then I just went ahead and wrote out the the section labels in Microsoft Word. And I put them in the, I played with the sizing. I think I used a seven point font or eight point font on this. And I printed it on some clear sticky paper and made the, um, the sections I needed. Um, and I did it that way specifically because I needed the YouTube um, and I believe that the only place I ever saw a YouTube sticker for a divider was on Fancy Plant, Fancy Plants Co. And to be honest, I can't wait for um, her shipping time. Her stuff is beautiful. Actually, I do have two of her sticker dividers. One says school and one says brain dump. I'm sorry about that. My <laughs> camera cut out because my husband was calling. Um, where was I? Oh, yeah, here. So the school and the brain dump, as you can see, is a different font. Those are stickers from her, one of the hauls I did from her um, her website a year ago. And yes, that is that. So the first stop in my planner is the inbox. And so, and just behind this dashboard, but in, in between the dashboard and the divider, I have some uh, plain dots. <laughs> and I put that there just because I thought it was, you know, it just gives it some character, doesn't it? And the gold paper clip, isn't that? I, I love that. I love that about this. <laughs> just little, little simple things to make it look stunning, but still keep it, keep it simple, you know? 
so the inbox and i pretty much i there's this inbox uh, sheet is not made for this size. This is made for the Happy Planner Classic size. It actually was, let me open it up. Uh, it goes like this, and then it's much bigger. You can kind of see, I don't know if you can see the indentation where I cut off the, the, uh, the disc bound holes off of this and I just cut out four boxes, turned it to the side and there you have it. Reuse what you have, especially if you're going back and forth between planner sizes and you don't wanna purchase and repurchase. Um, yeah, it, it just, it made sense to, you know, make an inbox. I, I need an inbox, I always use it. As you can see, I already started using and I haven't even used the planner yet. I'm not, I just moved into this baby and I'm already, <laughs> going to work with the jotting and I love this little bow this is cute <laughs> so the next section after inbox is the calendar now girl oh Angie I love this so the next section is the calendar and all of these um dividers here with the uh September October November December I just did the same thing as I did with the uh the labels here i printed out i'm you know made the labels printed them out on the on some clear stick of paper and microsoft word nice and easy and i made my own um dividers i don't know if you can see but yes we have the month up there <clears throat> and then we have this lovely dashboard right here and it just says people romanticize their plans but dread the execution the magic you're looking for is the work you are avoiding. And I need to read this every day, okay? Because y'all know, <laughs> y'all don't know. I put this planner together a week ago and I <laughs> am just now filming it. Because you know what? I, I, I take it all in stride. I do it all in steps. I'm like, you know what? I put it together. Yes, the work is done. <laughs> Yay. But I'm like, no, you got to film it for the people. You got to give the people what they're looking for. And that's the content, okay? <laughs> so we're here, we're here, we're doing the work, we're not avoiding it, here we are. And then this is just um, from the same, I think, Fancy Plans Co. haul that it did last year. I didn't even know I still had these. I came across them and I was like, oh, that'll be cute in my planner. And then down here is just some dead space. So I said, it'll be cute here. I hole punched it. It didn't come like this and popped it right here and a you know a nice simple but uh useful aesthetic right there nice and pretty and you can still use these are uh just some plain page flags and then the reason why i have the fine point sharpie is what these this type of page flags the one that is shiny has a sheen to it regular ink will just rub off but if you use the sharpie it is permanent it'll stay on there and it won't smear all right, so that's the calendar section and look at that nice divider. And yet another <laughs> interruption. Anyway, back to the divider. Drooling over the color of this divider, which is in the color beignet. It's pretty, it's minimal, it's, it's everything you need, okay? If you want a color that is different yet um, Simula is it, nice and plain. It looks like cream. It looks like beige, but it's not. It's called beignet. And I love that. <laughs> it makes me feel fancy. <laughs> so now we have that. Um, and here we have the 2022. And then we also have uh, a journaling card. And I punch holes in those. That's from Notique. I think I'll hold that many moons ago it just says quiet focus results and this is the calendar section and so y'all saw me unbox the in my last unboxing um i wasn't crazy about the dividers i got so i went ahead on etsy and i found ones that'll fit and I just got a, a plain calendar one. I didn't like that really tiny calendar at the top with really tiny boxes. And then you plan out everything at the bottom with no dates. I didn't like that. I'm a basic girl. I like um, a classic uh, layout. 
And so I picked this one up from Etsy. However, this is a Monday start. And I like that just because uh, I start my work week on Monday. So Monday is where I'm refreshed. It's where I, I'm like beginning. I'm like, okay, we about to get all of this done. I mean, I can't promise I'm still in that same mindset by Wednesday, but by Monday, you know, your girl is on it. We're ready. <laughs> and then I wanted the weekend at the end, just so I know for those two days, what I'm going to get done, how I'm going to end my week. Um, just because, you know, when it breaks up the Saturday and Sunday on either side, it's like it, it mentally is hard for me to keep track because they're on two different sides of the calendar. So for me, it makes more sense to productivity wise just to have it there. It may be a little confusing because my home calendar starts on Sunday, but you know, it is what it is. This is my personal calendar. So <laughs> that's where we have it. And then I have the rest of the year all in here. And then this is the horizontal weekly. And this is what the weekly looks like inside. I can't wait to decorate this. I, I really can't. I'm, I'm excited. I've already started looking at stickers that may fit in the boxes here. Because you know me, I need to decorate. I need to feel, it, it needs to be pretty. <laughs> so, you know, I can't wait to start doing that. So this is the weekly. Um, and the weekly, this section is pretty big just because they have all of the months in here for the remainder of the year, which is just fine. I don't have to worry about digging out inserts month by month. It's all here ready for me to go. So the next section is the goal section. And this I printed out. Um, was this part of the dashboard? Let me see. I think it was. Yeah, from the Seller Minimal Light. I think this is one of hers as well. And I printed it out on that same paper. It just says, be content with what you have. Rejoice in the way things are. When you realize there is nothing lacking, the whole world belongs to you. And that's by Lao Tzu. I think that's how you say it. <laughs> so the, the thing that stuck out for me for this is when you realize there is nothing lacking. I believe that belongs in the goals section. Okay, so it's like... When you have all the goals, all the key things in your life you want to hit, if you put it there and you're able to check it off, if you realize you're getting those pieces done, the rest, the other parts of your life, they all fit right in, right? <laughs> Doesn't that make sense? It makes sense to me. So let me go ahead and take this paper, paper clip off right quick. So behind that, I just have this goals insert or dashboard, I should say. I printed that out on vellum. And then I have the fourth card from the journaling set in the beginning. Um, and here it says, order comes through habit, right? So you start off squiggly, you end up near perfect. If you just keep following the steps. So I just thought all of that went together to create the goal section. And I love it. And then, you know, just to keep it all together, a nice little gold minimal paper clip i got this paper clip um set from michael's and i will link that below <laughs> but isn't that pretty i love it i love 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 the way this looks so i had some goals inserts on uh on my laptop i printed those out and hole punched it through it right in here so i'm gonna put the appropriate goals i have to go through the planner i have my happy planner and see what all I was tracking. I mean, I know for the most part, I'm tracking prayer, making my bed. Um, a made bed just makes the day. <laughs> it, it gives you order. Trust me, make your bed every morning, okay? So prayer, making my bed, the gym, school, because school is back. Um, what else? YouTube, Instagram, you know, all the, all the stuff. Cleaning, <laughs> all the stuff. So I just threw those inserts in here, and that is that. And then we have this Louis Vuitton paper clip. Um, and now the next section is YouTube. And wow, look at this. I forgot about this card. <laughs> Get obsessed over your goals. Now, I was torn um, putting this here or in the goals section, but 
you know, I have major goals. I have a lot of goals and a lot of things I want to work on with my channel. So it's like, yeah, I need to be obsessed over my gang okay i need to be obsessed over y'all i need to give y'all more content more entertainment you know all the good stuff it makes me happy makes you happy hopefully <laughs> so you know what i settled on putting it here um and then this uh image i pulled from google i just look up looked up minimal or um abstract art and this is one of the images that came up so i you know imported that into microsoft word um put it in the appropriate size and then i found a saying from billy g king and it says a champion is afraid of losing everyone else is afraid of winning and you know what we need to win over this is the winner's circle okay this is the winning channel we are winning <laughs> okay growth is happening i love the engagement i love you all and i love i love doing this you know i have a full-time job but i love coming on here <clears throat> And recording videos so I just put that in the YouTube section and then here in the section I made this little YouTube chart or YouTube video log I was supposed to put lines but I just kind of threw the, everything together and I said okay yay done as I said before um, so it's still a little bit of work to do but you know it's, it's looking it's coming together so I made this little chart and I try to get it with the same amount of lines that I have in the chart in my uh, classic size. Uh, and I just track this, you know, the basic things, the uh, videos that I have planned. Did I film it? Is it edited? Did I post it? And how many subs did I have? How many uh, gang members? <laughs> oh my God. How many gang members did I have? <laughs> at the time i posted the video that's so bad oh my god that sounds so awful man if the fuzz is watching turn it i'm just playing just jokes <laughs> but yes this is what i have in this section and then i also put some ba -ba -ba -ba, grid dot paper now this is paper that i had from my classic size and i cut it down to size <clears throat> for my personal rings and then I you know I hole punched it and that is that I'm ready to you know make a list of video ideas shorts you uh Instagram posts whatever it's ready to go next section is school now the job I have they offer free college tuition for um I'm in a union so union members and so I'm taking advantage of that, but it may not be a program that's around for long. So I'm currently taking a class in sociology and, you know, we'll see what happens. <laughs> I already want to give up. <laughs> so this section may not be in the planner for long, but, you know, whatever. So it says success is getting what you want. Happiness is what wanting what you get. Doesn't that make sense? It's like make make of it what you can and be happy you know <laughs> the way I look at life is like I wake up and I'm like today what if today was as good as it gets and you know what I, I find satisfaction in every part of my day or at least I try to so this is the school section and I have uh, a quite a good memory of the things I read but sometimes I like to take notes so you know, I threw some note paper in here. This was a principle that I got uh, many moons ago from Etsy. I'll try to link it below. I think it was part of the same pack as some of the other inserts. Um, so yeah, just some note paper there. Let me take some of that out because yeah, I'm just gonna take that out. <laughs> so the next section is my brain dump and it says inhale, exhale. And that creates the perfect balance. And just behind that, I have uh, the card that I got from one of the Etsy purchases. It just says special delivery. I thought that was cute to just stick behind there. I love a layering look, a layering effect. And that's what I got. So that is that. And then in the brain up section, I think it's just more note paper. Yes. So, you know, any kind of jotting, if I have a phone call, um, if I'm, you know, talking, whatever, just being able to jot down any thoughts. And I know I can do that just as easy in my inbox, but my inbox is more like a, a list kind of section of what to get done or 
appointments to make that kind of thing. So I kind of wanted to keep that um, just like that or separate. The brain dump is just more like a random jot things down. Even if it's like written down sideways, whatever, that's the brain dump section for me. And then in the back of my planner, um, I just have some sticky dots and you guys saw me unbox these. And I also had some ones in a different color. I found another uh, sticky dot set and from one of my prior um, happy, happy planner or cloth and paper um, hauls. And then I found some drops. These are cute. I thought that looked nice there on underneath this. And then these are just the evening routine and morning routine cards that I still have to fill out. Those are also from cloth and paper. And then I have my milk tea pen. How did I have this? Was this like this? I think it was just like that. Um, the milk tea pen. And I put the nude one there. Um, or brown sugar. I also have the rose pink. I feel like the pink should be there. But I feel like in order for this to show that it belongs to this. I need to have the pink one in here. That Does that make sense? make it make sense y'all <laughs> we'll leave that right there and then do i have anything else in the pockets i thought i did i thought i had more dots maybe not back there but this is all so pretty and then this pen here this gold pen was from um a book that one of my little sisters got me for i think it was just a random gift and it's a book that said faith um that book is filled <laughs> but i wanted to keep the pen somewhere and i like having two pens in my planner for some reason i don't know why that's just the way it is but yes this is my setup for the rest of 2022 anyway this video is long enough i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see y'all in the next one bye mm -hmm.